Hello everyone. In this video, we will be covering the problem paint fence. The number is 276 on lead code. The problem statement is you are painting a fence of N post and K different colors. You must paint the post following these rules. Each post must be exactly one color. There cannot be three or more consecutive posts with the same color. It simply means that you can have up to two fences next to each other with the same color. If you look at the first case or the example that they have given where n or the number of posts is equals to 3 and the colors are 2, we can have six different combinations and they have also given what all combinations we can make out of it. If we have one post and only one color, the only possible combination is one because there is no alternative other than having that same color, that one color. It is a medium problem but if you understand the concept and the approach behind it, it can be solved very easily. So let's dive into it. Let's start with understanding with this example. So the number of posts is 4 and the number of colors is 3. Let's say the three colors that we have is RGB. So one of the points in the problem statement is there could be only two consecutive posts having the same color. If we take two posts at the same time, the possible combinations are two. Either the color of the two posts are the same or they are different. So we will try to build our formula based on those two scenarios. Uh, we have post, we have a total of four posts. So I will create a table with four columns. On the or vertical side, I will have two cases. One is same color and the second would be different color. Okay. For the first post, the calculation is pretty straightforward. So we will not be calculating for that. Instead, we will start with post number two. With same color scenario, and taking the post 1 and 2 as an example, I can have a possible of 3 combination or a possible of K combination because I can make something like RR, 2 reds, 2 greens or 2 blues. There is no other possible combination because I only have 3 colors. So I can do something like RR, GG or BB. So I will have a maximum of 3 pairs if I go with the same color, okay? But if I go with a different color, so the two consecutive colors are different, which means I am trying to make a combination of RG, RB, GB, something like those, then in that case, I could have multiple combinations. I am looking for a pair, something like RB, RG, then GB, GR, BG, and BR. Okay, so with this combination, when I have three colors, I can do a maximum of six combination color. Because we have the number K is smaller, we were able to find out all the combination easily. If you want to put this in a formula, you can calculate it via K into K minus one. So where K in this case is three and then K minus one is two. So the result is 6. And if we were to find out the total number of combinations with 2 posts and 3 colors, all we have to do is add the two numbers 3 plus 6 and we will have 9 as a total combinations. Now let's look at the next post. With the next post, we cannot use the combination that we have built for the same color in post number 2 because the rule does not allow us to do that. So I cannot do R, R and R on post 3 because that's not allowed. So I have to go with a different combination. The combinations that we have built for different color when post is the second one is the best possible or the best suitable one here. So like if I take the first one R, B and I will repeat the last color used again. So it will become R, B, B, R, G, G then G, B, B, etc, etc. The number of combination for column 2 and different color row is going to be equal to the 
combination that we can build in column 3 same color and this will also become 6. To find the number of combination for different color for post 3 all we need to do is take the total number that we calculated for the previous post which is 9 and multiply it by k minus 1 because we have already calculated the number of combination like which is let's say RB, RG. All we need to do is add another color to that which is not the same as the previous color that we have already used. What I mean by that is if I have already used RB, so the last color that I've used is B, so I cannot use B again. So I have two other combination which is G or RBR. Similarly for the rest of the combination, I can follow the same pattern and come up with a different permutation and combination. If you want to put this in a formula, you can do is take the total 9 into use this k minus 1 which is 2. So my total will be 18. Just for different color combination if I have 3 post. And if I want to find out the total number of combinations so far, add 6 plus 18 which will give me 24. I hope you are able to follow this. Let's calculate the number of combination for the fourth post. I hope that will make it clearer for you. Just like the previous approach, we will take this 18 and directly put over here. Okay, because all we need to do is repeat the last color that we have used in different color scenario for post 3 and repeat it. So 18 stays over here as is. Now we need to find out the different color combination for post 4 which is the total number of combination from the previous, co previous post which is 24 and then multiply it by k minus 1 which is 24 into 2 48 so that's the total combination for this scenario with 4 post and if I want to find out the total number of combination for post 4 it would come down to 66. So this is my final answer. Now let's look at the C sharp implementation to solve this problem using the algorithm or the formula that we just discussed. Here is the C sharp implementation of the logic that we just discussed. We start with doing some basic validation like if the number of post is equals to 0 then we cannot do any combinations. If the post is 1 then we can do combination equal to the number of, co number of colors available. If the validation rules pass then we start our logic. We loop through all the posts that are given to us starting with number 2. As for number 1 we don't need to do that. By default, we start with the total set to the number of colors available. We first save the total different color combination in a variable called same color combination. Then we calculate the different color combination which is equal to the total that we calculated in the previous post multiplied by k minus 1. And after getting this value, we then add it with the same color combinations and then save it in this variable return value. I have added few comments as well which makes it little bit easier to read and understand. You can find this code on my GitHub repository. I, have, I will be adding the link in the description below. If you take a look at time complexity and space complexity, our time complexity is O of n because we are only looping through one post at a time and the maximum is n and the space complexity is O of 1. We are not maintaining a variable to save anything or maintain the state of each and every post. We are only saving the final value at each post, the number of combination that we have come up or that we have calculated. If you have any concerns, comments or suggestions, please feel free to reach out to me and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.